17 million people in two states have been given an urgent red flag warning about the risk of fire where they live. Tonight, some families are taking stock of the wreckage, others fighting the fire with their garden hoses. And for some, this is what they're up against. Look and listen. That is the roar of a wildfire in Carlsbad outside San Diego, and that is where we find ABC Cecilia Vegas. Cecilia. Diane, good evening to you. What a day it has been. The firefighters just put the fire out at this house here. You can see this is a battle they did not win. Take a look at this smoke here still burning, still smoldering flames in the back back there. What these firefighters are up against out here, extremely hot temperatures, really high gusts of winds, making for a treacherous day to fight a fire. The Golden State ablaze. Oh, my God. In Carlsbad, oh, California, firefighters and the people whose homes they are trying to save on the losing end of a raging battle. I've been doing this 35 years, and this is some of the most radical firefighting I've seen. The skies here, apocalyptic. 15,000 evacuation notices issued, homes destroyed, torched in a matter of minutes. These flames are so hot, and they are moving so quickly. This is the challenge. You can see these brush, this brush going up in seconds. In fact, I think we should get it. Let's go. We should get out of here. Guys, it's not safe. Listen to the whipping winds. A firefighter's worst enemy. The crews here can't keep up. This is what we're dealing with, and these flames, they just keep shooting up one after the next after the next. And the fires creating sites like this tornado of smoke that seem to defy physics. In a single day, in a 50-mile radius, three major Southern California fires burning, fueled by record-breaking heat. From the air, you can see the plumes of smoke, including a fast-moving brush fire forcing evacuations on Camp Pendleton, the largest marine training facility on the West Coast, and scatterings of smaller fires. The major freeway between L.A. and San Diego shut down as crews rushed to put out sparks from a truck. In Long Beach, palm trees burning, residents dumping water from pools to put out the flames. Further south in San Diego, where nearly 1,600 acres went up in flames yesterday, homeowners returning, still on high alert. Firefighters in their backyards as they continue to battle hot spots. The biggest challenge in this fire is what? Basically the winds, and it's a high pressure system that comes into the area. It's not typical for this time of year, but that's Southern California now. The fire season is all year round. And this is what we're seeing out here this evening, a field completely torched, burned land as far as the eye can see. And again, take a look at this, this house completely destroyed. This was the garage, but this is what I really want you to see. This home right behind, right next door to it, completely unscathed. That's what this fire did. Hot spots fueled by these hot winds, jumping from house to house to house, neighborhood to neighborhood. The owner of this home telling me, Diane, he is lucky he made it out alive. Our Cecilia Vega right there on the front lines with a lot of brave firefighters tonight. Thank you, Cecilia.